In this video, we introduce the second of Kirchhoff's, uh, Kirchhoff's laws, known as the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Simply stated, Kirchhoff's voltage law says that the algebraic sum of the voltage drops around a closed loop has got to equal zero. What that means is by algebraic, or what we mean by algebraic sum, is that we're going to include the sign, the S-I-G-N, of the voltage. So for example, if we start here and we add up the voltage drops we experience as we come around this closed loop, the sum of all those drops has to equal zero. So if a drop is a positive value, an increase is going to be a negative value. So let's go ahead and demonstrate what we mean here by writing a KVL, or Kirchhoff's voltage law, equation around this closed loop. And let's start right here. Starting here, we come to this battery, and we experience as we enter the negative terminal and leave the positive terminal, we're experiencing a voltage increase of 12 volts. So voltage increases are going to have a negative sign. So we write negative 12. Coming on around here, we experience a plus to minus going from the higher reference voltage to the lower reference voltage is a voltage drop. We're summing the drop, so we'll add 3 volts there. Similarly, plus to minus, we're dropping another 7 volts. And then finally, from here to here, we drop another 2 volts. Each of those drops has a positive sign on it. Thus, the algebraic sum of the voltage drops around that closed loop equals 0. Now, the mnemonic on this, the way you remember, and I don't want you to just memorize this without understanding the physics behind it, but as you go around a closed loop, if you come to the minus sign first and leave the positive sign, you have experienced a voltage increase. And as we're writing this algebraic sum, voltage increases are given a minus sign. So if you hit the minus terminal and going out the positive terminal, you give it a minus sign. And if you coming around here, you hit the positive terminal and leave the minus terminal, you're experiencing a voltage drop, and it will have a positive sign. In general, we're not going to know what the values of the voltages are, and we're going to be left to summing the voltages according to their reference. So for example, we've got a V1, this reference plus to minus, V2 plus to minus, V3 plus to minus, V4, V5, V6 reference plus to minus, and V7 reference plus to minus. We can write a Kirchhoff's voltage equation around each of the closed loops in this circuit, of which there are three. Let's do a closed loop equation around this left loop. And let's start right here this time. So starting at this point and coming down, we experience a voltage drop, V3, because we're entering the positive terminal, leaving the negative terminal. That's a voltage drop, so it would be a positive V3. Coming across here, we've got a minus to plus. We're experiencing a voltage increase, at least according to the way it's referenced here. So a voltage increase would be a minus V6. Coming on around here, minus to plus would be minus V1. And across here, to get back to where we started, we would experience a voltage drop of V2 or plus V2. The sum of those voltages must equal 0. Now let's write the loop equation around this closed loop. And we can start anywhere we want as long as we stop at where we started. Let's write the equation starting here. We've got plus to minus. That's a voltage drop. Voltage drops have a positive sign in it, so it would be plus V5. Coming across here, we have minus to plus. That's a voltage increase, so it would be a minus V7. Minus to plus V3, so it would be a minus V3. And finally, dropping across V4, plus to minus, so it would be a plus V4 to get back where we started. And the sum of those voltages would equal zero. Now, notice in this left-hand equation, we started at this point and went down, experiencing a voltage drop of V3 plus to minus. So for this equation, we wrote V3 with a positive sign. Over here in this equation, we were going the opposite direction across to V3. As we were entering V3 going this way, we entered from the negative terminal and left the positive terminal. So Accordingly, going in this direction, we're experiencing a voltage increase, and so V3 has a minus sign 
on that equation.